mess in her art and what to do. And um, so I've heard jokingly that painting is 96% staring. And that's a joke, but I really think it's true. I mean, I really think painting, for me, it's a high percentage of staring and like wondering what to do, the ways of discernment to make that next step. So that really resonated with me. And it really resonated because this show is in large about risk. And that's why I named it the art of falling gracefully. It's because I have really tried to build the idea of risk into my process. And I, I try to build a layer, I try to build up a rich texture. Um, but I've, what I've found is that a lot of times I get attached and I fall in love with a certain area, or there's a certain area that's working, but the rest isn't for me. And so I don't want to, so I'm trying to preserve certain things, and that just never, for me, that just never turns out well. Um, so I've learned, and I'm still learning, this is a process, but I've, I've learned to sort of build it into my expectations that I will fail at certain times. I will make things that don't work. And I still want to have that playful experimental quality in my work. So I don't want to just shy away from taking any risks. So I, a lot of times I have to look at a piece and say, well, even though this area right here is nice and it's, you know, it's good, but I want to create something that's really sublime. And so I need to kind of destroy that part. And it's scary. So that's that's the whole idea of risk and of falling, you know, in order to really do something great. And it works in life too, I think, in my life that in order to have a greatness or to find something that is really working well, um, a lot of times we do have to take a risk. We have to step outside of what we're doing. So um, and then the grace, the gracefully part, the falling gracefully part is just giving yourself that grace of so, it's okay. You know, I congratulations, you tried something and you maybe it didn't work out get up and try something else and keep experimenting. Don't lose that childlike feeling of just, I love working with materials and I want to make these marks and don't, don't lose that. So that's, that's the idea behind the title of my show, The Art of Falling Grace for You. Um, the idea of risk can kind of apply to us, to all aspects of life. So I kind of like looking at it that way too. But it's not just about my painting, but it's kind of a metaphor. For how, how we can get stuck in life and how we can like lose that that risk because we're afraid, or how we can kind of step out and create something different from our lives with that. Um, just an overview, an overall idea behind my work is the idea of history and of memory. Um, I, I like I said, I love building up a rich texture, and I have collage under all of these. There are layers of collage paint, and some of them you can see the collage more than others, but some may seem to be kind of all covered up. But, um, and then I'm kind of standing back in, and I'm making marks along the way, and I want it to feel like this individual painting has sort of its own, it's, it's its own being with its own history. Um, so I'm, that's kind of my, my idea. And that also is sort of a metaphor for us, that we go through life and we have all these messages that we learn throughout life that could be false or could be true, and it's just no judgment, but we just all have um, all of this that's happened to us, the events that shape us, and that forms how we present ourselves to the world and the person that we end up being, basically. So that's kind of how I see my paintings, that they're kind of like little little people, or little females. They're a metaphor for how we sort of are built up all this texture. Sometimes things are revealed, and some things sometimes are covered up. Um, but uh, also, um, apart from all of that, apart from the texture piece, I, um, composition is really important to me. I, my work is having on composition most of it, at least. Um, some colors will be important to me. So with those things, I have tons of fun in the studio and take a lot of risks and fail a lot. And I actually. Um, Plan to fail. I mean, this is, this is definitely a practice that I'm working on. It's not something that comes naturally, but I try to build that in. I try to build in the planning for failure, planning for realizing that it's okay, and I'm going to give myself grace. I'm going to get back up again, and, and I'm going to make something maybe different from what I thought it was going to be, but it's going to all work out. Okay. Okay. Yeah.
great. So yes, the mixed media sculptures that I have here are pretty new. I just started working on them in the last several months, and I. But you know, I just started putting them together. I've been collecting all the pieces for many, many months, several years now. Everywhere I go, it's that I find really cool pieces of wood and really cool little objects that I'm like. Oh, <laughs> I just have like this pile of stuff. Um, but finally, I decided I'm going to put this together. And I really, you know, they came together quickly, and I figured out how to that I was going to use that French plate system to hang them and how to you know, design them so they don't fall apart. And it was really fun for me to take a little break from painting and still have my paintings on the walls and still be able to do the scan that I need to do. But to try. Sort of echoing what Jess talked about a little bit. I feel like it's a contradiction a little bit because I want each piece to feel different and I don't want to rely on that I'm just kind of wrote doing the same marks over and over again, but I also want to imbue some kind of a meaning in my work. So I, I kind of um, tessellate back and forth between like, do I want to just completely not use any of the same marks that I've used before so that it can be completely original, or do I want to have this be a theme? Through a whole body of work, and so, um, like, so this type of grid—it's not a grid, kind of thing. No. But, yeah, so you'll see that in mean, some of my other works. It's not in everything, but I do use it in some things. And that, to me, has come to begin this way. Really, all my marks just begin as me playing, but then it's come to kind of take on a meaning as I develop the work. And oh, this is kind of reminds me of that, and I like how this shape is doing that, and so. Um, significant to me in that way, but that has become um, significant as communication or connection with others. And really, it started that much started during the pandemic, and then just you know, connected. And we were very um, isolated during that time, and so it was kind of like a reaching out, like who can I connect with? You know, I have these people, I have this family, 